Hi, this is Carlton. Um, we have another video here called the 10 time saving tips. And if you look at this slide, if you are underwater, that means you are about to run out of time. This comes from a good job and we are your career development channel, helping you with your job, your income and your business. So let's get right into the tips. So tip number one, tip number one is to create a checklist every day. You know, the reason why that you want to do this is that you want to not have to go back over things or to say, hey, I missed something and I need to retrace my steps. If you just do a checklist every day, you will be able to save yourself some time. And so that is a recommendation. Get a checklist done. Um, that way you can just go through it, figure out what you have to do during the day and you will save time without having to double back or retrace your steps. You'll be just fine. Okay, so number two is um, start setting a timer. What this really means is that you need to um, set a timer for the things that you, that can distract you. For example, if you are taking a break and you want to watch some TV, say, ah, I'll just watch TV for 20 minutes. You got to be careful because if you're anything like me, you can get sucked into a really good program. And if you're on a time schedule or time crunch and then you allocate it 20 minutes for a program, um, but then, you know, three hours later, you're like, oh, what, where did the time go? Um, you want to set a timer for things like that, for like a TV or if you're going to, you know, check your social media or if you're going to do emails or even if you're going to work out. What you want to do is that you want to start using a timer and setting a timer to the time that you want to be able to use. So that is tip number two is start setting a timer. OK, so tip number three is to avoid rush hour whenever possible. Now you want to do this. Um, I know that most of you probably work for nine to five and you can't avoid a rush hour, but you can avoid a rush hour like during the weekends. Like, you know, if you know that it's a, there's a popular um, tourist attraction that happens, you know, like at noon, try to get your things done early. Or what I used to do, at least for the morning rush hour, is that I had to be at work at nine. I would leave the house at six, go to the gym, which was 10 minutes away from my job, get my workout done. And then after I'm finished, go to my job, which was a 10 minute commute. That's how I avoided the morning rush hour. So if, if at all possible, avoid the rush hour. That way you're not spending additional hours in traffic and you can use that time to do something else. Okay, so tip number four is you want to use your downtime effectively. Now, if we all have downtime and if you are like in standing in a line or you know, if you're waiting for somebody, you know, you want to use your downtime effectively. For example, what I do is I select YouTube videos that I want to watch. If I want to watch videos about um, YouTube channels, about or how to make money, about this or something that's comedy that I want to see, I will save those videos um, later so if I'm ever in a line or if I'm waiting for somebody or if I'm just you know have some downtime then I can go ahead and watch my videos that I want to watch uh, on my watch later list so that is one way to be able to use um, your time effectively if you um, have downtime and you want to be able to get things done while you are waiting all right, so number five tip is you want to pick out your clothes the night before. This is very important because if you normally wait until the morning to pick out your clothes, what happens if there is a wardrobe failure that you have to accommodate? Well, you know, you might be late for work trying to do something with that wardrobe failure or, you know, something doesn't match that you didn't really look at and you're trying to change things. You probably don't get as much sleep if you get up early to try to pick out your clothes. So the recommendation is to do it the night before. And the reason why I like to do it is because I know it's done. Um, if I want to sleep an extra five or 10 minutes, there's no guilt. I'm not rushing. I won't forget things like, you know, my wallet or my phone or, or something or something important to papers, you know. So number five, I recommend pick out your clothes the night before. You will save um, a bunch of time if you do that. Okay, so recommendation number six is to bring leftovers for lunch. Now, the reason why I recommend this is because if you have your leftovers, and let's say that you're working on a deadline, then you're not um, starving yourself. You have something there to eat if you want to eat. Also, too, if you have some food and, and if you're on a budget, you can save money by bringing your leftovers. That 
definitely is a time saver. It's definitely a money saver. I bring the leftovers. You don't have to eat all your leftovers, but it's there. It's available to you if you need something nutritious to eat during lunch. Okay, that's number six. So tip number seven is to make a place for everything. This means to get organized. And the reason why you wanna get organized is because if you're organized, then if you're looking for something, you can you know, narrow it down to where it is. So you're not spending all your time looking for this piece of paper or that piece of paper, you know, or your glasses or, or whatever you need. You have a place for everything and you know where it's supposed to be. And that will help you save time because you know where things are supposed to be. Okay, and that goes relates to tip number eight, which is put things back where you got them. If you have a place, you know, for your glasses or for your wallet or for your keys, if you know where they're supposed to be, then in the morning when you're ready to go and you're looking for them, you know where they are at least are supposed to be if you put them back. So if you take them, put it back. If you take a, um, a glass or a cup or, or some scissors or whatever it is, after you finish using them, put them back because if you need them later on, you know where to find them and you're not wasting time looking for things. I have a friend who um, just is a little bit disorganized. He's a lot of bit disorganized. I'm not going to mention Ken's name. And so what happens is that I was over his house and he was looking for um, this um, DMV piece, you know, uh, piece of paper. And so he couldn't find it. He kind of tore up his place looking for it. You know, and I'm like, dude, don't you put them all in one place? He's like, no. I said, no, you need to do that because now you're spending 45 minutes looking for a piece of paper that it should be in one place and you're late for an appointment. So that is my recommendation. Put things back where you got them. That way you know where they're supposed to be. Okay, that brings us to point number nine. Point number nine is that you want to exercise at home. And the reason why I recommend that you exercise at home not all the time. I mean, if you want to do it a couple of days a week, that's fine. It's because you're not finding getting to the gym or waiting for an equipment that's that's available and then trying to get home afterwards. If you take a couple of days a week and exercise at home, you can do push-ups, you can do sit-ups, you can you know have some weights that you would do. Um, the good thing about exercising at home is, is that once you're finished, boom, you can go right into the shower. Um, I think you really should shower. And so that way, you know, you can save time. Uh, as well you're not getting your car all musty and you got to clean out your car you know all this other stuff but you don't have to exercise every day at home you can just exercise you know a couple times a week and then go to, to the gym the other times a week but that will definitely save you some time so now we're going to get to tip number 10 tip number 10 is you need to say no more often now look at this guy he is just chilling at the beach because he said no to all the other appointments and demands on his life so he gets to sit down and chill out and so you should be able to do that too you should be able to chill out at the beach like this instead of doing just one more thing now let me tell you this other people say no to you and so if they can say no to you you should be able to say no to them it just in whatever comes around goes around now if you're the kind of person that finds it hard or difficult to say no don't say no just say not now and that just is it's the same thing as saying no but not now is a softer answer of saying it so that is my recommendation if you can't say no just say not now trust me you will save a lot of time okay those are the 10 time-saving tips that we have for you. Um, again, you know, if you are underwater like this lady, that means that you are running out of time. And so before we leave and say goodbye, I just want to share with you some time-saving gadgets that I find that are really neat. The first one is a hand blender. Um, I just can't believe how easy it is to do a hand blending exercise without using the, the, reg the regular blender. Um, that would save you time. And then also some um, vegetables vegetable cutters, you know, and so sometimes I spend a lot of time cutting up vegetables, especially if I'm making a kind of soup, but that just saves a lot of time. Also car trunk organizer, I uh, have that as well. And how that saves time for me is that things are not flying all over my trunk. And I got to clean it happened one time where I had to clean out my trunk because something spilled and just flew all over. Um, now that um, bikini wax thing, how did that get in there? I think my wife put that in. Oh, I know. Right. She uses that so that she doesn't have to go get a bikini wax herself. She 
you can do that at home. So that's another time saving thing. If you have things that you can do at home instead of going to the spa or gym, you know, even though you like doing that, every now and then um, you can do it at home. You can save some time if you need it. Get some hair removed. Also, I like the wireless charger because I don't have to keep finding a plug somewhere. And then I can just take my cell phone and just sit it right on it. It just charges, then I'm ready and I'm good to go. What I like about the Page Up Crystal is that, you know, when you have your paper vertically in front of you, instead of just lying, lying flat, um, it's right next to your screen. So you're typing and looking at your paper. And what I found, what I love about this is that I'm more effective. I'm not looking down. I make a lot fewer mistakes having that page of crystal it's a small thing it doesn't cost much but it's a time-saving gadget and then last but not least there's the standing desk converter um, you know my ophthalmologist uh, um, Ivy Sun Dr. Ivy Sun I'm giving a shout out to her she's at Kaiser um, just said that I needed to back off you know from looking at the screen probably every 30 minutes but you know that was a time waster for me but when I got the standing desk I was able to you know back up and exercise a little bit and stand up uh, without having to leave my chair so that's a very big time saver for me so I'm going to put a link to all of these gadgets in, in the description area below um, they're all on Amazon you can check them out for yourself and um, if and, and those are time-saving tools that I think that you absolutely can use all right so I just want to say thank you very much this is good job your career development site um, if you like this go ahead and click the like button um, share this with someone go ahead and click the subscribe and that bell notification and we will see you in the next video we appreciate your time um, everything's a job so do a good job have a great day